Okay, Cancer, it took me a while, but I found the spot. I mean, it's Memorial Day, and I am all by my solo dolo on the beach, so we gotta take a moment and pull some cards. I had started, and then I was abruptly interrupted, so let's start again. It was suggested the lovers and what else? Oh, the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're a hot commodity and maybe somebody's gonna reconcile or somebody who's an existing relationship, they're gonna have a new depth added to that relationship, a new dimension because it takes on uh, a new deeper quality whereas before it was perhaps really like superficial, now it's got some, some depth to it. Uh, and those of you who are single, maybe you're going to be finding new love with a Gemini or somebody else, just a new love interest because from what I was seeing in the, in the last reading that we're not using uh, Cancer, it was looking like you're a hot commodity this month, Cancer. It's looking like like everybody wants to be sitting at the table with you, okay? Like you're Mr. or Mrs. Popularity and you got the good vibes and you got the infectious smile, so everybody wants to sit at the table with you, okay? Um, all right, so Cancer, my name's Trudy. I'm your portrait gypsy angel medium. This is your June 2021 reading. Uh, what else? Yeah, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yes! Um, I'm a little hype. I shot a gun yesterday and like the gunpowder is like flowing through my veins or something. I don't know. I got activated. Um, I hadn't shot guns like that ever before and I, I'm a fan. Yes, I think that they are needed to be in responsible hands. Great. So, Cancer, what else did I want to say? Thank you to those of you who are subscribers, those of you who like, share, comment. All that good stuff because it genuinely helps the growth of the channel. Um, a very warm and special thank you to those of you who get private exchanges of energies with me because you're helping me pay the bills. I'm a single mom and I love you. One more shuffle. Yeah, so if you want a private exchange of energies with me, all you have to do is click on the description box. It's either here, yeah, either here or here. And it's gonna be a downward facing arrow and you just click on it and it pops up a few different options for you to make your selection from and then just get with me we're gonna have a beautiful exchange of energies I can't wait I enjoy it so much all right so without further ado my beautiful cancer let's cut the deck and let's get right into the reading oh my gosh so even though you're mr. or mrs. popularity you're not sleeping well at night something's keeping you up it's something from your past that you don't want to look at. It's giving you nightmares and you're not able to sleep. Uh, you know, so in order to regain your sleep, in order to regain your sanity, you have to rebalance yourself and be like a well-tempered salad. What do I mean by well-tempered, okay? Let's go deep into the salad analogy, okay? So this is gonna be an extreme act of balancing, right? We can't have too much salt, we can't have too much pepper, we can't have too much vinegar, and we cannot have too much olive oil. So it's gotta be all perfectly balanced and beautifully executed so that you can achieve temperance, my lovey-dovey. So, I don't know if it's that you've got too much attitude or you're too much of a Mr. or Mrs. nice guy, or maybe you say yes too much and you're not capable of saying no. Maybe you work too fucking much. I don't know. What is it, cancer? Where's the lack of balance? You need to balance yourself. All right, baby? So, I'm being told to cut the deck again because we got, we got good stuff coming. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, but you're running away from your fear, so you're not going to be able to see the good stuff because you're running away from something that really frightens you. Uh, the, something from the past. Again, it's talking about the past. It's talking about you not wanting to look at the past. This person has their eyes closed, and that's how I feel like you are, Cancer. You don't want to. You want to. You don't want to face the music. Um, hearing for someone, it's a lack of accountability. I'm hearing for someone, it's too much.
much accountability and and like now that you're faced with it you just you don't want to look at it because it's so much accountability and like man for those of you who are actually going down the path of accountability i fucking commend you like you know what hats off to you cancer my motion sex sensor keeps sending me notifications that somebody's at my door it's just the tree moving i love that thing okay um yeah so hats off to you cancer if you're doing that inner work where you're actually like looking inside and being like well how would how did i make this situation not the most optimal situation how did i have an influence on this right and so that's accountability that's taking responsibility for your part um in the 12-step community from what i understand that's uh cleaning up your side of the street or something like that okay so like let's let's forget about cleaning up your side of the street but really swallowing that pill of accountability okay you don't have to keep your side of the clean your, your side of the street clean you don't even have to clean it up that's a personal choice but as far as the accountability is concerned if you want to go there another personal choice the accountability is there to open your eyes so that you don't repeat the mistakes that you did in the past so that you do have a healthy dose of fear because you don't want to be that person that you were in the past you don't want to be ashamed of yourself you want to be proud my beautiful cancer you are not defined by your actions in the past what if i tell you that you're not defined by your bank account you're not defined by your last name you're not defined by any of your earthly possessions because you are so much more you're so much more you're so limitless and delicious and i fucking love you okay so let's pull another card yeah and that's what i was talking about you are the victor you're riding on top of that horse and you're achieving you're accomplishing you may have been the underdog at one point last chapter but not this here now chapter uh, yeah I love it. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I just needed to come out and get up one with nature. She's so beautiful. Mother and Earth. She's got so much good vibes that it just, it's like I had a cup of espresso, like a big tall cup, not a tiny little shot. And I'm still, I'm still so excited about those guns. Okay. So, Cancer, let's pull you an outcome card. Page of Swords, somebody's gonna come and give you the truth and they're gonna say it without tact. You're gonna choose the wrong moment, the wrong words, and they might come off uh, like they're offending you. But how about this? Take the message for what it is, my beautiful Cancer. There's a message. There's a message. Maybe the messenger was a dick and they're stupid and, <laughs> and they lack tact. All right, but there's a message there for you, baby. And I'm sorry that they gave you the message in such an ugly way, all right? Um, it's Mercury retrograde, so let's just be patient with everybody. Even myself, I had a moment. I had a really bad moment. Oh my God, I had to, I had to take myself out and put myself in timeout, okay? <laughs> so Cancer, I love you. Love me back, love yourself, love everybody around you. I hope you have a fabulous month and I will see you on the flip side. Mwah.